ready to do the uh, oil change on the Jeep. So it has been a little too long since we've uh, actually did the last oil change. So we're gonna go ahead and get uh, started with that. Going to be putting in AMS oil engine transmission flush into the engine, letting it run for about 15 minutes, uh, get it flushed out, because it has been a while since we've done an oil change on this, uh, just to get everything flushed out of there. So we'll go ahead and get that started. Here is the uh, engine transmission flush. So the way this works is it goes into the uh, engine and just let it run for 15 minutes and then drain it completely, pull the filter off. But uh, I've already pulled out some oil so it's not going to be uh, overfilled. You know, that's got to be careful with that. You don't want to overfill your crankcase. So pull out uh, 16 ounces, which is what this takes in, and uh, go ahead and get started with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in. Start the engine up. Well, it's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off, and we will start draining the uh, oil. So we're sitting here with what's that say? 43,635 miles, which is not too bad, but. Uh, not a daily driver as you can see with the lift but uh it is a fun so here's the uh drain plug i'm gonna work with 16 millimeter so you got the drain pan set up hopefully we'll uh keep our splashing to a minimum Get that draining started. I don't know if you noticed this light fluid change or flow change. 
when I uh, pulled the uh, drain or the fill the dipstick out. But we've got. Pretty good flow going there. The uh, oil filter is right up here on the side. Kinda sit right there. Starter right there. I run a um, filter mag magnet. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, different people stay with it not to do anything, but you know what? It gives me a little bit of extra protection against any uh, metal contaminants in there. At least ferrous metal. I'm all for it. But gotta see the uh, Pinion seal has been leaking. In front. The bag's not too bad there, but we'll get those replaced later. That'll be a different video. But uh, while well, this is draining, let's see if we've got. In my box of goodies, we got a replacement drain plug. With the new gasket, this one's kind of hard and wore out, so we'll go ahead and replace that. The oil filter, EA042, EA and Ham's oil, represents synthetic 10W30 signature series. Some of this other in here is the differential fluid, the gear lube for the uh, transfer case, the transmission, as well as the uh, gear lube for the uh, diff front and rear differentials. Eventually, you're going to be replacing the uh, brake lines, but today it's just a matter of getting the oil changed and the uh, air filter. Got this air raid on here. You can see it's pretty cruddy. Uh, picked up a lot of dirt and stuff from all the uh, work in the backyard. Just pulling the drag and stuff really dusty. So I'm going to pull that off. I've had got a replacement in this oil filter. Which I can do, did a cross reference to get the right one. And it happens to be the EAAU3590. It's a canister or a cone test filter replacement. So we'll be back. Here's the new AMS oil air filter. Aerate one. I'm just going to undo these arm gears clamps. Get to undo that bolt down there, and we'll pull this out. Okay, so the new uh, Amsoil air filters on here. It's a little bit of work, I had to take the whole shot off, so I've got to zip tie this up. But uh, it was a perfect replacement for the original filter that came with the air raid. And uh, so that's on. We've got six quarts of the Amsoil Signature Series 1030 going in. That's the last of the six quarts. We'll go ahead and uh, check our fluid level now. Looks like we're, we should be good. It's been 
was dripping. We will start it up. Make sure we uh, get oil pressure, check the leaks, and uh, we should be good for the oil change. Thank you.